Did I win? I won! Haha! <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. My name is King Kong Veal, and today I am beginning my reign here in Kingdom Come Deliverance. This is a really fun looking game. Uh, it takes place in Bohemia in the late 1300s, uh, when King Wenceslas the Fourth uh, is uh, basically in, in power, sort of. Um, I believe it was his half brother. Uh, King Sigismund of Hungary uh, has kidnapped him and has invaded Bohemia. And uh, yeah, it's I've heard this is a very uh, challenging game. I have basically no experience with this. Uh, so I'm looking forward to getting into it and seeing what it is like. So without further ado, uh, let's get into it and get this game started. In the early 15th the early 15th century was a time of turmoil in the Holy Roman Empire, uh, which had flourished under the late King uh, Emperor Charles IV. But now, with his son Wenceslas idol, yep, the king's inactivity angered many of the nobilities as well as his half brother Sigismund of Hungary. Oof, those went by quick. All right, yeah, basically what I stated earlier. Sigismund is uh, invaded because Wenceslas has uh, it was not a very good king, not a very good emperor. It's a beautiful looking game. Silver Skulls 1403. And I'm definitely going to need to turn down the, the music a little bit. Assume that's the uh, the lord that lives in the castle and overlooking my village. God bless. Same to you. Today's a scorch. Husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? Blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. Henry, get up now. There's work to be done. Get up or I'll come get you up, you slugger bed. Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You'd better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself, is all. Hmm. Well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. 
Now get up, you rogue. <sighs> A fine state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? Alright, uh, so I could say I was uh, chatting in the tavern. I was dancing. Oh, I was with Bianca. Or I was working in the forge. I'm going to say I was working in the forge. I was sweating in the forge all day yesterday, and then I was helping Fritz and Matthew with some errands. So I'd say I have a right to be a bit tired. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. Why well, would I be interested in sword fighting? Bias was teaching me archery. I was with Bianca. And what does it matter? I think I'm going to go with the, uh, the agility. No, it's just... Matthias was teaching me archery. Archery? Do you want to become a poacher? Have you any idea of the punishment for that? And where did you get a bow, anyway? Oh, come on. I've no interest in poaching. It's just a bit of fun. Oh, Christ, give me strength. Just don't do anything stupid. For the love of God. Promise. I promise. Alright, so I need to go to my father. My friend's been here. I'm hungry. It's pot angry. Uh, do you need any help? Do you need me to do anything, Ma? Ah, uh, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. You're misjudging them. That's unfair. Really? So where were you until the small hours last night? I was... with Bianca, of course. You mean at Bianca's tavern? And who was there with you? No, don't tell me. Let me guess. Matthew and Fritz. Well, at least you were with Bianca. You should hold on to that one, Hal. She's a clever girl. And invite her for supper sometime. Your father's very fond of her. Yeah, of course he is. He thinks he'll be able to wheedle the secret of beer brewing out of her. <laughs> You're right there. You'd think he was planning to become a brewer in his dotage. Still, that's your father for you. At least he's interested in something, unlike you lot. You're too busy getting into mischief to do an honest day's work. If Fritz and Matthew carry on this way, they'll wind up swinging one day. You mark my words. All right, I'm hungry. Can I get something to eat? I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. And is Pa angry at me? Is Father angry with me for sleeping late? He's not happy. Yesterday you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Saratzik. He's not as young as he was. And you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain, but he needs your help, Henry. I know. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. He always says his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. It's looking like such a nice day. All right. There we go. Okay. So, reach a new level in agility. Okay, so strength and agility. My speech is a little bit up. I have a perk point. And strength. So I can get Grave Digger. Uh, carrying dead or unconscious bodies won't cost you any stamina and they'll only burden you half and as much. Or Stronghold. Blocking an opponent's strike with your shield will cost you 30% less stamina. I'm going to learn Stronghold. Quest log. All right, I need to go to my father and go to the sword fighting lesson. Okay. Uh, to eat food, pick it up in the inventory. 
In the food tab, select what you want to eat, and then hold E to eat. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Eat from the pot. Okay. Um, take some apples. Bread rolls. Oof. That's rough animation there. <laughs> Okay, so I think I've got everything in here. This animation is going to take a little bit of getting used to. This, hey, go to father. All right, uh, that is sprint. All right. Come here, I need your help. What's the matter with you, Henry? Didn't you hear me calling you? Sorry, I wanted to have a look around. Sorry, Father. I was taking a stroll and lost track of time. Somehow I had a feeling I was seeing everything for the first time. How, my boy? When are you going to get some sense? Anyway, we've a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh? Not drunkard? <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. <laughs> happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasso. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait. Okay. So, now I have a lot of things to do. Buy some charcoal, collect the debt. Pick up the cross guards and buy some ale. And I still need to go to the sword fighting lesson. I think I might try to do that first. Get that out of the way. Right, so let's head down this way. Well, B was down here. There's the charcoal burner. Hey, Pip! Do you want to learn something? No, I don't think so. Thanks. Suit yourself. So here's the... the hero. So you haven't changed your mind about learning the craft of warfare. Here's the, the guy I need to talk to, so let's talk to him. Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? Oh, it was nothing. Except mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. The world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Um, sure, let's go. Alright, I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. I'm just gonna follow him. We're gonna go ahead and do this. Immediately. 
Here's the sheepfold. Hey, sheepy, sheepies. And I just gotta wait on uh, this guy to show up. Alright, so he's finally here, so let's talk to him. So, can we get started? Yes, we can. Good. And since today's the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. Right, which is absolutely nothing. I know nothing. Let's start with the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. All right, all right. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. Not bad. Again, good. Once again. Very good. Good. Once again. Now you're getting it. The point of the blade is for stabbing. Try it a few times. Uh, stab. Now you're getting it. Nice. Nice. Okay. Good, good. Let's try something else. One strike, I can fend off without a sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. Nice. Okay, I guess I got it. <laughs> right, that's enough. I don't know about you, but I'm tired and thirsty. Remember though, train hard. No one becomes a master swordsman overnight. Okay. You have to work and work. And the main thing is to use what you've learned in real combat. There's nothing better than experience, believe me. Alright, well, I guess I got that. Um, sure. Alright, so stats, I uh, gained a level of my main level. So I can get aesthetic, 30% longer without food. As soon as I'm hungry, it will be 20% worse. Manly odor. <laughs> when dirty, you have 50% more charisma when talking to women. However, people will smell you a mile off, reducing your stealth skill by 30%. Night Rider, your stamina will generate 20% faster at night, but 10% slower during the day. Scout, increases the sight distance of fast travel, so you'll notice events on the way sooner, and also your chance of invading, evading are also increased by 10%. And Wanderer, I grew up in impoverished conditions, so your bed is inverted. For you. So, comforts of bed is inverted for you. The worse the bed, the better sleep you get, and vice versa. I think I might go with ascetic. Ascetic. Alright, so now I need... What do I need to do? I need to collect the, collect the debt so I can do stuff. So, let's talk to Kunish. That was... Uh, C on the map, which is over here, it looks like. Alright, Kunish. Time for you to pay up. God be with you, Kunish. What do you want? Father sent me for money. My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. 
Pay for the tools at least. You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. But at least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. Yeah, let's try and intimidate him. I must have misheard you. It sounded like you just told me to clear off. But you wouldn't be stupid enough to think you can steal, not pay your debts, and then try to scare me. Would you? You son of a whore. Yeah, I failed. Speak to me like that. Didn't your thieving father teach you any manners? No? Well, I'll teach you then. Alright, looks like I, uh... Gotta fight. Man, he's kicking my butt. Quitting. Oh. I won! Haha! <laughs> Take what you want. It's not much, but it's all I have. I didn't expect to win. Haha, <laughs> yes. You jerk. That's what you get. I won. Alright. Um so I need to try to get the hammer, axe, and nails back another way. Alright. So there's the axe. I'm gonna wash myself real quick. <laughs> Alright, so I need to unlock something with the key to get uh, what he's trying to give me. And, uh,. I'm gonna eat his food too. Um, unlock. All right, so I got the hammer and the nails. All right, so I got those. So I need to get the axe. Which, hmm. If I just take it. Okay, well I got the uh Amber Hacks and Nails. Sweet. Alright, blacksmith's boy, you got the better of me. Take what you want, but you haven't heard the last of this. Okay, so where's the traitor? I saw Traitor somewhere. Ooh, pretzels, carrots. You the traitor? No, you're the traitor. God's blessings. All right, let's talk trade. Take care. All right. Um, 
x only two and a half one and a half there 0.6 oof let's see that's uh 2.4 that's only three three coins what do i need for everything i need to buy greetings let's talk some trade I need 10 of these. Which is 5 coins. I'm gonna need to find some other things to sell. Actually, what if I... Sell these to you. They'll be worth more. Okay. Um... Let's see if there are other people I can sell to. You're the trader, you're just a villager. Oh, I'm in a private area. Um, where'd the grocer go? Are you the grocer? Oh, you're a villager. Let's see. Thanks. What can I, I get from you? you? For these things. You don't want them. Okay. You know how it is. The wife sent me. I hope I can remember everything she wants. That's it then. Kettle good health for water. to you. Right. What do you want? Or what will you, uh... Take nothing, nothing. How are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. What will you do? 2.5, 1.4, 0.7. No, you're still not the most expensive. Greetings. And. But you, 2.2, 1.3.6. What if head to the tavern? See if they'll buy it in there. If not, it looks like selling it to the coal makers that can be the best option. Taverns over here. Oh. Cutscene. You can't be serious, Deutsch. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. I had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Kutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts, traitors. Now even the Pope God be with is you, opposed Henry. to your king. I'm with you, so Matthew. What's going on here? Deutsch is spouting shit. What? And Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire. <laughs> what do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Wenceslas is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas' commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund and... don't and forget about Kutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but... Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words, exactly. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson. Doesn't he, Fritz? You're too wide, Matthew. 
should give him a proper hiding. Are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge pile of manure. You know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. You think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather torch it, to be honest. But, doing some turds will do. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Sir Ratzik's sword. Come on. Doing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Are you with us? How's throwing poop going to defend the honor of our king, huh? <laughs> uh, okay. Alright, well, uh, sure. Oh, well. Father can wait a while. <laughs> My words exactly. I knew you wouldn't miss out on all the fun. Let's go. All right, but I think this is actually going to be where I end this episode. Um, so thank you all for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, be sure to come back in two weeks for the next episode. And check out some of the other uh, playthroughs I have on this channel. There are some other things in here that I think you might enjoy. So with that, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, however much of it is left. And I will see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye.